lecture in this lecture we are going to learn about basic concepts of object oriented programming what is the definition for object oriented programming first thing that i want to tell you is that it is not a programming language it is a technique that is used by many programming languages oop is a programming technique based on objects instead of just functions these objects are organized into classes very simple definition now we are going to explore what is meant by classes class is the combination of functions or methods and data a class is a blueprint for creating objects a method in object oriented programming is a procedure associated with a class a method defines the behavior of the objects that are created from the class like what is data data like variables inches feet these are the variables or data and methods or functions are feet to inch you can convert feet to inch or inches to feet so class is a combination of methods and data definition for object an object is the instance of the class by using object of the class we can access the members of the class like functions and data or variables are the member of the class by using object we can access the member of the class you need to have a class before you can create an object now we are going toward implementation of the basic concepts create new project and then select console app dot net framework next one and uh, you can assign name like basic o concept create project and look at here these are the libraries over namespace or you can say that namespaces so what is the namespace namespace is the combination of the classes so here is the class and this is the method so you can convert or conversion class like you can assign it name conversion save the project and you can display message console dot write line this is my first program save the program and click here to start the project this is my first program or console program so create a variable at double feed or double inch public variable public mean 
we can access this variable in this class by using object of the class or by using instance of the class so public so here create the object of the class like class name dot convert is equal to by using new keyword we are going to create an object conversion according to definition by using object of the class we can access the member of the class so these are the members dot feed so we can store value or convert dot inch is equal to feet two. So we can display the variable same like feet plus convert dot feet and also here inches like inch convert dot save it press control plus f5 to execute the program feed 2 inches 12 so now after that you can also assign value 2 and 12 here and create a method public that convert just to feet and uh, here double We are going to receive a variable. So and here is the return type that is you must assign return type void or any other, but I am going to like double and Or you can directly return and you can also change the name like that inches and uh, also you can remove these variables just for understanding access this method by using object of the class convert inch to feet and 24 inches and double Display a message feed 
the result should be 2. So save the program and press Ctrl F5 to execute the program and the result is here because our formula is wrong. So divided by 12 and now execute the program press control plus f5 so here is the result you can also convert feet to inches multiply by 12 in here inches just for understanding maybe these concepts are very easy for you to and press control plus f5 so 20 inches so the definitions are namespace is the combination of classes like that we have two classes in namespace basic group concepts so and the class is the combination of methods and data like this is method or function and what is the object object is the instance of the class by using object of the class we can access the member of the class so object oriented programming is one of the amazing technique in many programming languages so thank you for watching this video